Christian Vasquez catching Jose Arquiti for the third time, and we are underway. Todd Callis, Jeff Bagwell, Jeff Blum, Kaylee Griffin. Name on yeah, it. He's, yep. he's okay with that. He doesn't have a World Series home run game. Three. <laughs> we didn't even get three pitches in. That's all, that's yeah. all it takes. You had to go there on three your pitches, first batter third inning. Bat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't forget things like that. And they fight to the end. There goes Mullins. A throw by Vasquez. A good one. Henley's, Hensley's tag just a little bit late as it bounced in there and it couldn't make the play on Mullins. I think somebody's looking. You wipe down and wipe up. Wipe down. You change the side. Goes from a three, two, one. You do it twice, 3 2 1. If you do it up, it goes 4 1. It'll be fine. Swing and a foul tip caught by Vasquez. Big strikeout there for Kitty, getting Mountcastle for the second half. There's everybody left, and I was by myself. <laughs> and I said, please. Another pop up. Bear territory. Yuli makes that play. There the basket catch yes. down the line. Had a chance to talk with Hall of Famer Jim Palmer before the game. And before I could even get a word out, he spoke opposite division. You don't get a chance to see these guys, and they're young. 3 1 pitch hit high in the air to center field. Back goes McKenna. Crowd reacting, but Jose got under this one a little bit as McKenna catches it right on the edge of the warning track. To figure what he likes to throw in this count. Slider. They're going to say Yuli went around on that pitch as Yuli strikes out for the second out. The age of 25, I feel like he is a very good hitter. That ball into the shift. Odor to his right will make the play. Jordan getting down the line in a hurry, but he is out number three. Well, you guys remember going to Boston, and we'd be playing Boston, and then all of a sudden they start cheering in the crowd. Hate the Yankees. When we're playing, you got to be ready to hit that pitch. And then you end oh, up going happens. after that pitch on two and two. Exactly right. So why would you take the chance on that? I just don't understand that. Yeah, it was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't take it off. <laughs> Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout, and Vasquez trying to back pick Arias, who gets back in. But back-to-back -back strikeouts for Kitty two away. Here's Jorge Mateo. Swings to the first pitch and sends a high fly ball in the left center field, playable for Mancini, and the former Oriole puts it away for the final out of the inning. Christian Vasquez, the batter. Slowly hit towards short. Dean Kramer in two innings has faced six batters and retired six batters. A couple of flyouts and a ground out here. So we head to the third. They got a lot to look forward to in this kid. Ball hit hard, and that will be another double. Double number 26 as Tucker digs it out of the corner. Adley Rushman, a one out base runner, a double on an 0 2 pitch. That ball hit well. Santander gives the Orioles a 2 0 lead. That's a second deck shot. Anthony Santander with his team leading 23rd home run in RBI 72 73. Also the team leader in that category. Orioles lead 2 0. Same pitch Rushman hit, I think. Yeah, it is. Curveball. As a left-handed hitter, you have that pitch coming back to you, and if yeah. it's not down out of the zone, you have the opportunity to have something like this happen every once in a while. It's a 22nd home run given up this season by Jose or I don't know, but yeah, I mean they're all going to do it together, and then that's fine. But he's still going to screw. Austin Hayes tags this one deep to left field. That is way up there, up on the train track. I oh, hope he didn't get too warm with that chain because he's coming off. Austin Hayes will now receive the home run chain as he connects two batters after Anthony Santan there and the Orioles with the big fly lead a three to nothing. We can handle that. That's all right. Mm. Yeah, that's the, uh, the yeah. hanging slider. Yeah, that one. Those don't come back. If you just swing at it, you will do that to it. Now Arias first pitch swinging sends one to center field. Dubon takes care of that, but the Orioles score three runs. A two-run home run by Santander, and then they hand off the home run chain to Austin Hayes with a solo shot. First inning, that three-two pitch was important to know. We just haven't got the 3-2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's a fly ball on a 2 0 pitch. Austin Hayes puts it away. The foul balls. When you pitch up in the strike zone, you're going to get some strikeouts and you're going to get some foul balls. Not sure where that was. Called third strike on McKenna. That is four strikeouts. Over 23 seconds, 24 seconds. I don't know if it needs to be 19. Is that what it is? 14, 19? Like 14 that. and 19 right now. Runners on base or no runners on base. Pitch up to that. Swing and a foul tip caught by Vasquez for out number two. Five strikeouts for Kitty. Out of the zone. Right. I know that sounds crazy. Runner on the go had a good jump and the throw scoots past Hensley into center field. So Odor picks up his fourth steal of the year and gets to third as the ball. Odor trying to gain the attention of Urquidy and this ball drilled into center field. Dubon will adjust on the move and puts it away for the final out of the inning. Flatter again. Probably it's his best pitch so far tonight. Up the yeah. middle. Altuve with a base hit into center field. Hansy. That was good. That was old Altuve right there. Here's tonight's just Towards the middle, that'll be Mateo making the play, and they turn two on Guriel here. So Altuve, the Astros' first base runner, wiped out on the double play, two outs. He's such a big man, he can put get it up and put it down. This time he's frustrated with himself as he grounds a 2-0 pitch into the shift. And that will do it for the Astros in the fourth. Leadoff base hit, wiped out. Two and two, the count to Malcastle. And this ball into center field. Back goes Dubon, still on the move, looking at the wall, has room, and he puts it away on the warning track. And he gets Bregman on a second straight curveball. Alex goes down on strikes. That's just the second strikeout for Kramer. Pick it up out of the hand. And that's what he did. Towards short, Christian Vasquez grounds out to Mateo, and so far Kramer through five innings has a one-hit shutout. How many guys do that? Even get to five innings. This one slowly hit. Bregman will bare hand and his throw high. Yuli down on the bag, but not quite in time. Strikes. He was ready to get rid of me in the third pitch. Strikeout, throw down to second in time. Altuve with the tag. Strike him out, throw him out, double play. And his 15 caught stealings for Vasquez, most in the American League. This ball in the right, holding up for Kyle Tucker. Seth Martinez gets through the inning, facing the minimum three batters. 68. And he locks up Trey Mancini of Cutter on the bottom half of the strike zone for his third strikeout. That ball hit in the air to right field. Austin Hayes over, puts it away. Started a little bit off more. Right there. Reached out though and punches one, and Hensley has no chance. Mateo runs well. Yeah, the numbers bared that out, huh? There goes the runner. Vasquez throw. Not quite in time. Hensley put the tag down on the leg. Hensley thinks they might have had him. Back leg, foot. Out. Nicely done. You know, it's funny. We, we just watched Ricky Henderson steal those bases. Houston is challenging the safe call at second base. Oh. The previous play is under review. That's going to be overturned. Watch him stand up. See how he stood up right there? After review, That's going to cost him. Overturned. The runner is out. Houston is paying their challenge. So that's two caught stealings now for Vasquez in this game. And slide head first like Ricky. When Ricky was stole, what does he try and steal? 180 times? Yeah. That's the difference. Strikeout for Mayton coming out of the bullpen. Astros down 3 0, seventh inning stretch. Game, game summer. There's there a go. line drive base hit. Astros have their second hit. That ball to the wall. Altuve will get to second base with a leadoff double here in the seventh. First base runner to second base. Yeah, the baseball. He doesn't not getting that foot down in time. There is a base hit that will score a run. Jordan Alvarez, an RBI single into right center field. Astros on the board. It's now three to one. Here we go. On the ground towards short. Mateo will flip it to Odor and a turn. It's a low throw and a nice pick at first by Ryan Mountcastle to end the inning. Count. Draws another walk. That'll be his team leading 45th walk of the year. And he 
swings and misses at the breaking ball. So Maton picks up his second strikeout. That's two outs in the inning. Gets him with the breaking ball. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Three strikeouts for Maton of the four outs he recorded. On right center. Because he really hasn't shown any, like, sporadic that he's not. There we go. There is a base hit to center field. Trey Mancini getting on base here in the eighth inning. That'll bring the tying run to the plate again. In age 27. Nope. Oh. I'm going to say he went oh, around. Oh, oh. That's going to Still was effective to set it up. Yeah. Ray picks up a strikeout of Urias. A bullpen guy. Just off the plate, ball four. Well, McKenna draws a one out walk. Ground ball towards short. Hensley will flip it to Bregman. Bregman, the turn for the double play. I'm going to say. Swing and a miss. Split. Splitter yeah. gets him. Opeña strikes out. One out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. That'll do it for the Astros tonight. The Baltimore Orioles for the second straight night shut down the Astros offense. They have held them to one run so far in this series. Another two run win last night. Two nothing tonight. Three to one. Astros post game show will be coming up. It'll be. Kevin Eschenfelder and Clay Hensley, your host. Kaylee Griffin will get some interviews after this one. Orioles pitching has been very good in this series. The Astros post game show right around the corner.